Hello YouTube, how you doing? Okay, it's Nick here. It's now Sunday and I've just got back in. I went to three car boot sales this morning. Uh, the weather was lovely. I didn't get to go out yesterday because I looked at the forecast and it was terrible. It was just rain, rain, rain. So I didn't get up and go out. And then the day was fine, which was really frustrating. But I went out today and made up for it. I went to three boot sales and did really well. So I thought I'd come on and share with you guys what I got. Um, there's quite a lot of stuff again, so make yourselves comfy because it might take a while. So, right, start down here. I always pick these up. These sell really well. It's a Lindam baby bouncer. It hangs from the doorway like that. Uh, I paid a pound and I sell these for £10 with shipping on top and they go really quick all the time. So don't pass those by. Um, I bought these. They're really nice Airwalk uh, inline skates. Um, they're not the most expensive brand out there but I paid £2 and I will look to get about £20 back on these. Um, that's the top end of what they go for. It's kind of an easy 15 but I'll put them on at 20 and hopefully get that. So they were they were a good price at £2. And then there was this, possibly the, the best deal of the day. It's a Kenwood Gourmet food processor. Now, I did a video talking about these before. I I think it was a video all about the Kenwood ones. Um, basically, the parts, the blade, the bowl, the lid, um, all of the separate parts have a really good resale market. Um, the lady said it's complete and working, so I might look up and see if it's, you know, worth getting a quick sale on on the complete thing. But more than likely, I will part this out. And I got it for, I think she wanted three pounds, but I got it for two. Um, which was fantastic. I mean, some of these blades go for £10 odd on, on their own, some really good ones. Uh, a lot of them are £5, but I can see one, two, three, four, five or so blades and everything. So that was really good. Um, this was another really good buy. Uh, it's a Thomas train, but it's also Lego Duplo. Um, and these are really quite hard to get hold of. Um, <laughs> I just smashed it into a load of bits. Um, but that shows how it works. So it's, it's Lego so it's you can break it apart and build it back up. Anyway from the same lady I bought that train and this Lego Duplo horse and carriage and a good old Mr Potato Head with extra bits in. And I paid three pounds on everything that's there. This Thomas train, um, believe it or not, is fifteen to twenty pounds just on its own like that. Um, so I, I would have paid the three pounds just for that. The horse and carriage, I'll probably do as part of the bundle, but even that on its own, you could get four or five pounds for. And the Mr. Potato Heads, you've seen, you see me sell those; they sell really well. So that was a great little deal. Um, CDs, I bought a ton of CDs. I'm not going to go through them all individually. That took far too long last time. I'll do a few highlights and then just show you the rest. Um, these were still worth 50 pence each and they're CD audiobooks. These are Lemony Snicket series of unfortunate events. They're not worth a great deal, but as a bundle, they sell really well. Um, so I'm in that for £1.50. Uh, that's a great deal. More audiobooks, these are Jacqueline Wilson CD audiobooks. Um, again, 50 pence each, so I bought three of those from the same stall. Um, I might do those individually, I'll have a look and see what value they have, but if not, that's a quick, easy bundle. And again, I'm in for £1.50, so lots of money to be made on those. Um, now albums, I tend to only buy the earlier ones, which have really good individual resale value but on a stall a guy had loads of CDs and he said if I find a, a few he'll do me a deal and they're only 50p each anyway to start with so I picked out all of his now albums they're in fantastic condition the discs are all mint in all of these they're all fairly new um, one two four six seven 
I, I think I ended up paying like £2.50 or something for these. So that's another easy bundle there. Um, these were nice, 50p each, Flaming Lips albums. Um, an instant bundle there of three that I can put on straight away. A um, couple of Kasabian albums again. These were all 50p or less, all these CDs. Um, they're huge again at the moment. Got a, got a new album out. Well, it's been out for a couple of months, actually. Um, so I'll bundle those with another couple of albums I've got out the back. CD singles. I don't buy a lot of these days, but it's worth looking if you know what you're looking for. Uh, this is a Radiohead Just limited edition uh, CD single. Unfortunately, it's only got one of the two limited edition postcards that, that are in with it. Um, but that was 50p. In fact, I think I got it for nothing because it was bundled in with a load of albums. Um, it's not worth loads, only four or five pounds, but you know there, there is money in some singles, but you know, you'd have to plough through a, a lot of boxes of singles to find many that are worth bothering with. Um, a few more highlights of the CDs I, I found. Really nice wedding present album. Uh, great indie band. Uh, it's not loads of value, four or five pounds on its own. This was nice. Brand new sealed Best of Eva Cassidy. Um, I had a quick look because I thought this had good value. Um, people on eBay have been getting over ten pounds for that. Uh, which is crazy really, but brand new and sealed, and that was 50 pence, That's a great deal. Um, this was nice, Into the Woods um, CD of the, I'm not sure if that's a show or, yeah, it's a Broadway show, isn't it? I think, yeah. Um, I love buying the, the musicals uh, and the show CDs, there's always a market for them. I picked up another one. A uh, new Broadway cast of Cabaret, again 50p, that sells well. This was nice, Demi Lovato album. This is absolutely spanking mint. So I think I'm going to put that in a new case and sell it new and then I'll get really good money for that. Doesn't look like it's ever been out of the box. Uh, this is really cool as well. Enemy, 61 track, triple CD album for 50 pence. Couldn't leave it there. And then head candy CDs. These certain ones can have good va good value. It's like um, funky dance disco stuff. So that was nice. So that's the kind of highlights of the CDs. Uh, there was all of these. Oh, there's another nice show one. This one's worth picking up if you see it cheap. Sunset Boulevard, big box version. Uh, and then there was all of these. Some really nice stuff in there. Queen. Yeah, 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 Florence and Machine, Radiohead. Um, all of these were 50p or less. Arctic Monkeys, loads of really good stuff. And then this stack, or oh, apart from this, this I paid a pound for because it's brand new and sealed. It's all the original artists, original tracks, and it's three CD set of 80s. Uh, that would be an easy quick sell at Christmas. And then this lot, I went to a stall that had a big crate on the floor full of CDs and he said the magic words all the CDs are 20p so I bought five pounds worth uh, was it five pounds one it's either four or five pounds worth I can't remember how many are here one two three yeah five pounds worth so all of those all 20p each and it's all um or mostly 90s indie rock stuff um so that would be great to make bundles out of so that's the CDs. Um, a couple of books. I still had a load of brand new books. Um, and I wish I'd bought more now. I went on a couple of these because this one's got the Star Wars added interest. Uh, they were 50 pence each. This one I bought because it's got this musical ruler on the cover. And then the book tells you how to play it. I've looked them up. That's about a £5 book. This goes for £5, but one seller managed to get £10 for it. So at 50p each, they were well worth buying, and I should have, more, should have bought more, really. Um, perfume, used perfume. I have seen dealers buying this stuff for years and never got involved. And this morning I saw a woman grab a load of half-used perfumes off a stall, and I thought to myself, I need to give that a go. So I happened to find this 
on another stall. It's, it's only about a third or a quarter full. Um, but I thought I need to give that a go and find out about that market because I see dealers picking these up all the time. And this isn't a particularly sought after one. It's a Versace uh, called Red Jeans. And there's not much in it. But even that's an easy five pounds. Um, and I pay 50p. Um, but yeah, that's definitely a market to look at. Used perfumes. Uh, they, they resell really well on eBay. Have a look yourself. Um, a couple of leads. I paid a pound for the pair. This is an official Nintendo uh, DS one, which will sell really well. And that's an Xbox component lead. About those. This, I think, was my favourite pickup of the day. It's a Tomy Tronic 3D uh, video game where you look through like a pair of binoculars. Um, I paid £2 for it. I, I don't know what they're currently going for, um, but a lot more than £2, I'd imagine. Um, I don't know. I'd have to look it up. What I what I might do is, is go through and check prices and put some prices up in, in the video if I can be bothered. It takes so much time. But yeah, if if I look this up and get a price, I'll try and remember to put some prices up in the video to give you an idea of what the what the current resale is on eBay. But that was great. Two pounds, really nice condition. It's got its little uh, strap with it. Uh, right, we're through some of these. Ben 10 3 DVD box set for a pound. Guitar Hero on PS3, Legends of Rock Game Only, 50 pence. Um, this lot, I don't normally buy much in the way of PS2. Um, I happened to ask the guy how much he wanted for his games. There's a couple in there I was interested in. Jack 2, probably has good resale, Soul Calibur 2. Um, and he just said oh, I would take the lot for £2, so I didn't even... Well, I found in one of them, it's this one, I had a look in. A memory card, so that's that's worth the two pounds he asked on its own. So yeah, I just grabbed it all. Didn't really look any further. So that whole lot, including the memory card, and these, which are like promo demo discs. It's got Ratchet and Clank 2, SSX, some good titles in there. Um, all of that's two pounds. Uh, 50p each. Raving Rabbids, Traveling Time on the Wii and a Smackdown game on DS. Um, where's the other half? This was 50 pence. Uh, I need to look this up and find out what it's all about. Building Great Sentences, Exploring the Writer's Craft, Volume 1 and Volume 2. There's loads and loads of discs in this. So it would have been an expensive thing new. Uh, and when the, the lady said 50 pence, I grabbed it. So I will look that up and, and try and remember to put a price on the video. Uh, it's got to be worth some good money. Hopefully. I don't know. Um, this I looked up on my phone while I was there. I did look a few things up today. Uh, two of them are sealed and one isn't. It's just the Harry Potter games on PC, which are nothing special. Um, but I looked them up and this set, I should be able to get £10 for, um, so I gave the woman the £2 that she was asking. So that's fine. Uh, I might get more actually, some sellers were getting a bit more than that. Uh, Disney bed knobs and broomsticks, uh, I paid a pound for. These I wouldn't normally bother with, they're just Mighty Boosh. I've got Series 1 and 2 in a box set, Series 3 and the live one. Um, but the woman was selling her, her DVDs for 30 pence. So those three were less than a pound. So I just bundled them together. Uh, Karate Kid 4 disc collection for 50 pence. I was all over that. Uh, this was nice. Resident Evil, the first one on PS1 uh, for a pound. And Crash Team Racing PS1 for a pound. Uh, same stall. This was the same store I got all those Now albums, so I got a big bundle together uh, and we we worked out a deal. These SingStar games were all a pound each. I make up bundles out of these, the old PS2 ones. So there's some nice titles in there. Uh, they were all a pound. 
a random script CD there that was 50p. Uh, Bleak House BBC DVD box set was a pound. Lemmings, and I'll know more Lemmings, 50p. And a nice Lego Star Wars 2, PlayStation 2, was uh, either 50p or a pound. I don't know, I'm forgetting now what I paid. Um, this was nice, really old Playmobil set in its box of these wicked little Viking guys. They're so cool looking and they've got all their accessories and everything. Uh, and that was a pound in its box. Always pick up Playmobil stuff, especially if it's boxed. Um, okay, this was a good little deal. I paid what might sound like a lot. This was £13. Um, I think it might have been 14 Not sure. But it has a brand new rummy cup. Everything in here is sealed. Um, and I sold... I sold a brand new rummy cup this week, just gone, for £20. So that's my money back and a little bit of profit if I just sell that. But as part of the, the deal that I got was a brand new boggle. Uh, that's probably about £10. Uh, Disney's Wally 2 Disc Edition, that's a fiver. This is, she said it was brand new, but it's not sealed, so I, I doubt I'll be able to sell it as brand new. But it's absolutely mint. Looks like it's never been out of the box. That's an easy £10, maybe a bit more. And Classic Monopoly is £10 all the time. So if I get my money back on the Rummy Cub, this is another £35 profit on that one purchase. So that was good. Uh, found a couple of these on different stools. MB Crossword Game. Um, one's quite faded in comparison to that one. They were 50p. Uh, I sold it before. I'm not sure what it goes for. Somewhere between sort of five and eight pound mark. Um, a few more books. A uh, special interest in niche ones. No more bedwetting. Uh, it was 20 pence, so I, I thought I'd give it a go. Really good condition. Uh, a book about symbols, universal language, I thought I'd take a chance on it. 20 pence. Um, these are all cross stitch books. We've got cross stitch cats, fantasy, heavenly, you name it, it's all in here. Technique of bobbin lace, that's a nice, really special interest book. Uh, cross stitch myths and magic so these are all pattern books silhouette that's a really nice one and needlepoint cats and these were all 50p and then I, I managed to haggle her down a little bit because I bought some puzzles from her as well um, so these were all a little bit less than 50 pence each um, right we're through the, the games this is all new and sealed inside. I bought and sold this before. It's a Haynes Build Your Own Internal Combustion Engine. Um, I paid £1.50 and these go for about £15 new. Same stool. I got the four for a fiver. So in my head that combustion engine one was one fifty. This really nice copy of uh, Simpsons Monopoly, uh, 150. So that makes three pounds, which meant this was a pound. About ships, and this I bundled in. Um, I wouldn't have bothered, but it's, but it's still in its cellophane, not been opened. Uh, Coronation Street Race to the Rovers board game. So that was cool. But for my five pounds, I know I'm going to make a tenner just on the Haynes thing. So the other stuff's just a bonus, really. Um, I've got two of these 3D puzzles for 50 pence each. This is a really big 718-piece one of the White House. Um, I had a quick look. These go from anywhere from 10 to 20 pounds. So that was an absolute bargain at 50p. This was the same stall that had all of their 
the cross stitch books and they had another puzzle which was at the bottom of the stack there. Um, upwards I think I paid a pound for Pictionary was a pound. Um, I buy those all the time. Sell them for ten pounds. These are brand new, still with the tags on. Tiny little kids Nike shin guards. Um, I paid a pound. Um, they were in a sale at fourteen ninety nine. So regular price of eighteen. So I don't know what I'll get for those. Probably an easy tenner. Um, okay, these Duplo box sets. These were all taped up and the lady promised me that they were all in there. I don't like taking people's word for it, but I did on this occasion. So you've got that set, that set, and this one, and this one. She wanted five pounds a box, so that was twenty pounds for the four. Um, I did pay her twenty pounds, but only once I bundled in this Star Wars uh, Jedi Force Galactic Heroes, brand new on its card. This sells for about twelve, and this Winnie the Pooh, lovely sealed. It's got a little tear in the cellophane. Complete Winnie the Pooh collection. This is worth about £20. Uh, so I bundled those in and gave her the 20 And these um, I'll get at least £10 each, or thereabouts, at 10 20 30 40 60 About £70 I'll get back on that. And that was 20 uh, A few more games. Payday, I picked this up all the time. That was, I think it was a pound. Um, I'd sell those for 10 There's the other 3D puzzle. And this is really nice. I love the early Guess Who. They go really well, 10 to 12 pounds. Everything's in there, really good condition. Box is a bit bashed, but that's fine. That was a pound. Um, this, it's a shame about the condition, but it's a really, really vintage frustration. Looks like it's 1960s. Um, it was a pound, and the reason I went on it was it's in brilliant condition inside. Everything's in there, uh, and it's it's such an old version. I I had to buy it. I love my board games. Um, a Trivial Pursuit Millennium Edition and a 20th Anniversary Edition. Uh, I think they were a pound each. Three Kaplunks and a Connect Four. Either a pound or fifty pence each. I pay for these. And MB bed bugs for a pound. All working. Three, three official Lego storage boxes like that for a pound for the three. That'll be an easy sale. Um, okay, this, I've bought and sold the Casio keyboards a lot. The little tiny ones go really well. This is an SA20, um, and I've got it for £4. Um, the woman assured me it works. It's got the power adapter in there. There's no battery acid damage. I, I checked in the battery compartment. Uh, I looked it up quickly before I started the video. 15 to £20, I should get back on that, so that was okay for four quid. I bought a big bag of more of these Galactic Heroes. Um, I showed some in a past video and they sold really quickly and really well. So I bought, there's absolutely tons and tons of figures and there's a load of Marvel ones in as well. Um, there must be 20, 20 or 30 figures in here. Um, I can't get it out but there's a big blue sort of TIE fighter. In there as well. Um, I think I paid about thirteen pounds for the lot. But going on what I sold them for last time, um, there's there's plenty of profit left in that.
Um, right, this was interesting. I don't buy a lot of vinyl. I find that it's it's fiddly to sell. Record collectors are really fussy on their condition. I don't really know it as a market. And there's loads of dealers where I go, and they, they cherry pick the stuff anyway. But these are all 1960s 7-inch uh, singles. There's 50 or 60 in the box. There's absolute tons of them. And um, I just happened to ask him how much they were. And he said 10p each. So I offered him £2 on the box, thinking he won't take it anyway. And he just said yes. So I will go through. There's bound to be um, a few in there that are worth selling on their own. And I'll do that. And then I'll, I'll get good money selling this as a, as a job lot anyway. So for £2, I took a chance on those. I bought this, which is a Playmobil house. Like one of these modular houses. And these go for really good money. Uh, I paid £3 for it. No, I think it's £3.50. Um, but yeah, I won't get it out. It's all in there. It's in really good condition. Um, I bought the obligatory Wii bundle. Uh, so there's a Wii, leads, uh, two controllers, no nunchuck unfortunately, and Wii Sports, and the Wii Fit with Wii Fit Plus software inside. Um, I paid more than I have been recently. I paid £20 for the lot, but the Wii stuff has been selling so quickly and, and really well recently. Thought I'd give it a go. I've been getting ten pounds uh, per controller uh, after shipping about fifteen pounds for the console, about ten pounds for a bundle of leads, and uh, about twenty pounds after postage on the Wii Fit Plus. So there's still good profit in there after spending twenty. Um, picked up these. These are women's pro fitness boxing gloves and a set of pads and in the same bag was a pair of really nice Reebok gloves and wrist weights and I got all of that for two pounds. I bought and sold boxing gloves many times, it's always good quick money in those. Uh, another riding helmet, buy and sell these all the time. Uh, this was, no, how much did I pay? £2 I paid for this. Um, I tend to sell this make, which is Champion, for about 15 This is awesome. Still got its little label on there, that Jack Sparrow costume, £1. It's, it's a really well made thing. It's, it's got its hat and all the dreadlocks and everything. And then the whole outfit is in here. There's loads and loads of it. Trousers, the shirt, uh, little waistcoat thing, all sorts. So for a pound, I was all over that. That's easy money. And then from a different stall, I picked up these as a kid's Buzz Lightyear dressing up outfit. Paid a pound. Kids uh, Incredibles outfit, I paid a pound. And because they were 50p each, I went for a, the sheep outfit and a wizard's hat and cape. Um, I find fancy dress stuff sells really easily, so I gave it a go. And that's it. There's a couple of bits here. I, I went to some charity shops the other day, um, picked up a 10 disc Ian Rankin audio book for £2 because I looked it up while I, while I was there and I should get £8 back on it and this the packaging's open but all of the contents are in there all sealed up these are Epsom it's a Epsom T0807 set of cartridges uh, I paid £4 and I've already looked this one up I'm going to put it on for Thirty-nine ninety-nine with four ninety-nine shipping, and I should get that quite easily. So that was an amazing find. Love selling ink cartridges. So right, I think that's everything now. So there you go, guys. That was um, 
what I picked up today, and that's just going out on the Sunday. I didn't go out on the Saturday. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed that. I think I've been going on too long. That's what's that? Half an hour. So uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed that. That's my finds for the day. If you've not watched me before, my name's Nick. Uh, I'm a full-time eBay reseller. This is what I do to earn my living. I buy stuff and I sell it on eBay and and make money and earn my living. So um, yeah, I just come on YouTube and share what I do with you guys and hope that it helps you out and gives you some uh, inspiration or some hints on how to make money on eBay. So take care guys, thanks for watching, see you soon.